Well, what you eat can do wonders for your gut health. In this week's Health Link, King 5's Christine Pay explains how probiotics can help prevent colorectal cancer. Probiotics, you've probably seen that word on yogurt labels and supplements, but what are they exactly and how do they maintain a strong gut? A nutrition expert at Overlake Medical Center explains. Probiotics are an umbrella term for the live microorganisms that we consume and flourish in our gut. Think yogurt, fermented pickles, and kimchi. In each of these foods, you can tuck away millions of lactobacillus bacteria, the good kind known for promoting a healthy gut. But remember, probiotics are different from prebiotics. Prebiotics are carbohydrate-based foods that pass through the colon without being digested, but feed the good bacteria in your gut. Think fibrous foods like asparagus, artichokes, oats, and apples. When pre and probiotics are taken together, they encourage optimal conditions for lactobacillus to thrive, and the benefits are far-reaching. There are some evidence suggesting specific strains from lactobacillus as well as uh, phytobacterium may be beneficial in uh, increasing our colorectal health and then reduce the risks of colorectal cancer. Tian Yu Zhao is a nutrition consult at Overlake Medical Center. She says probiotics have anti-inflammatory effects in the gut that can help thwart cancer activity. Knowing this, HealthLink asked, what's better, probiotic foods to promote gut health or probiotic supplements? They each have their own benefit. For example, like the, the supplement is typically strain specific. So it allows us to pick and choose the specific strain that we're looking for. So that's especially beneficial when we are treating certain conditions like FBS or uh, antibiotic related diarrhea. She says if you're interested in targeted probiotic supplements, it's recommended you talk with your doctor about it, but adds getting probiotics from food can be more beneficial. For example, kimchi and uncooked sauerkraut have both pro and prebiotics, the bacteria and the fiber. We're essentially shooting two birds with one stone if we consume those foods. You can ensure you're getting probiotics by looking for the label live and active cultures and products like yogurt. One important note, heating up probiotic foods can kill those beneficial microorganisms. So just because sourdough bread and beer are made through fermentation doesn't mean that they are full of probiotics because of the heat applied in making those products. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pei reporting.